Good morning everybody. It is Monday and it is the 9th of September. Yeah, 9th of September. I'm really tired. I haven't slept very well. My back's been aching and um, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Which wouldn't be surprising because Jennifer's got a cold. And uh, yeah. But you might be wondering why aren't we in the car? Because I normally film this in the car. I haven't got my car because my car's um, broken. So my dad's taken me in to work and Jennifer to nursery. Car seat's been fitted into his car. He's going to be picking me up later on. So I thought I'd do this now. So last week was a really good week and I should have vlogged it. Well, it was a good week in the sense lots have happened. There was like, they posted six things on Tuesday and five things on Thursday. It was a good sales week. So far this week I've got one sale to post tomorrow. I haven't been doing eBay. And this is my problem. Um, by the time you've seen this, you would have, if you watch it, seen a colour in chat in which I've already said um, some of this stuff. But if I knuckled down and did eBay every day and got stuff listed every day, I would probably be making enough money to leave my job. But I've got to be honest, because I've got my job, I don't push myself because I don't need the money. Um, but saying that this week... Oh my back's aching. I am going to try and get five listings up every day, whether it's auctions or new listings. So um, last yesterday I got six ready for drafting. Now these have already been basically drafted, they just need filling out. And then I can put some live, five live today. The idea is to do six every day so that I've got one building up for when I'm ready to do have a day off or something else now that's my breakfast so I'm gonna go and eat that and then I'll come back but that's the plan to do that every day um, so when I get home tonight Jennifer goes to sleep I want to try and photograph five or six items I want to get on top of my photos I have got, still got some cameras to do and I might start doing them as well but I there's clothing I've got to get on top of the clothing I'll be back soon so if you watch the um, kind of catch up and I do expect everybody will you also know I'm having camera problems. So, uh, terrible week. Um, my camera's not reading my memory card. Um, any of them. So it's not the memory card. It's something with the camera. It might be just some dust on the contacts, but it's hard to get out. So I have read some solutions about it, but I might contact Canon UK to see what they suggest. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, I explained I was thinking about buying a new camera for vlogging. Um... And again, it's a Canon. I do like Canon. But it'd be the G7X, whatever it is, Mark II. Not the new one. There's a Mark III out, but it, there's not enough difference in it. I'm not bothered about 4K. I mean, I do most of my video in on my phone or my DSLR anyway, so. But I wanted a small compact camera for when we go on holiday. Because we're off to Tenerife soon. Um, for weeks, whole day, and I wanted to do some vlogging while out there and be able to take pictures. I do have a waterproof camera for the pool. I take pictures of Jennifer playing in the sea and then in the, the Lido. Um, but yeah, I'm really tired, so I'm going to drink my tea and watch Lonnie over at Garage Flips. I've started watching that, it's a long one this morning. Before getting her ready, the real test of whether or not I can pull off this doing five things every day will be this afternoon when I get home because I'm going to be shattered because I haven't slept if she goes to sleep after when I'm at my lunch I'm going to want to go to sleep and I'm going to have to say no go and photograph five items or six items or seven items first then if she's still asleep you can have a dose and that's what I'm going to have to start doing every day I have got a load of stuff photographed ready but I've also got a load of stuff that needs to be photographed and I'm still buying more because if I see something nice, something good, and something worth picking up for 50p or a pound, I'm going to do it. But I do want to get on top of it. So the idea is to get six ready for drafting every day, list five every day. Um, even if it's just five auctions, until I run out of auctions and then it'll be normal listings where I want to get ahead on the, the drafts again. And then when I run out of clothing, I'll hit the cameras hard. I don't think I'll ever really run out of clothing, only for like maybe a day. And then I could pick up tons of cheap clothing, whether or not 
it's good enough. I mean, some of I mean the stuff I avoid is like Primark unless it's something special. Um, and the supermarket brands, although I will pick them up if they're good sizes, like for instance the large George sizes. You know, they're really good. The larger Florence and Fred sizes, the larger two sizes, and some two stuff is really nice. Same reason is not cheap. Um, but yeah. There's always something down there to pick up. I, I bought, how many items did I buy last week? Maybe 10? Which isn't a lot, but, and that's buying only the stuff I consider to be really good or what I want. So for instance, I've got one jumper, which is a Christmas jumper. Now I don't pick up Christmas jumpers. I can't stand the things. This is a hot pink Christmas jumper. I'm gonna get that listed pretty soon. I'm gonna put it on for six quid. It costs me 50p. It's all profit, whatever I make. Now, a lot of people don't do that because they don't think it's worth their while. But for me, it's just going to be a flat lay on a hanger. So it's not a major problem with it. It's just going to hang on a hanger. I bought, I did buy a pair of um, Disney Christmas pyjamas ages ago um, for a pound. And, and they'll be going up soon just because it's getting up to that time of year and people start buying Christmas stuff, winter stuff. I mean, I'm not going to probably do it this month but it'll probably be next month october it'll be up anyway that's enough for me i'm gonna watch lonnie and i will catch up with you when i finish work hi guys we're back home now i'm chilled out on the sofa jennifer's got a bit of a cold so have i got a sore throat now um yeah she's been a good girl she is look trying to say hello we've been yeah hello i have photographed five items today i've got some ready to go live and then tomorrow i will be doing more so my idea is to try and do five a day so that i can get something listed no i haven't tried the camera today so don't think it's going to be working so won't be doing any filming tonight unfortunately but jennifer wants to say hi because she's a good girl she was sitting next to me we're watching jordan the lion yes you on the camera so say hello wave to everybody can you wave yeah she's looking at herself which is so cute anyway so i'll show you what i'm doing when i'm measuring them later on which will be after jennifer's gone to bed so yes yeah, say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wave bye bye. Good girl. Yeah, she likes waving goodbye. We're going to watch the cars now on Jordan the Lion. So. Ah! so I've done my five listings for the day. I've measured six more items. I photographed five items. So that's got me stuff listed today. Tomorrow I will finish drafting another five to get listed they'll put in auctions up tomorrow so they'll just sit there waiting for wednesday when they will go live i'm just trying to get on top of all the clothing i've got so i'm not worried about if i'm putting auctions up even if they don't sell i'm not worrying about putting on buy it now i'll do that after if i get to a point where i've got a lot of, of drafts I might just do both, but they'll come at a point where I run out of auction listings anyway, so I'll do that. Paul's gone to bed, Jennifer's in bed. I've got a bit of a sore throat because I'm getting Jennifer's cold. I'm watching um, some gamer called Blitzwinger, play Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, something to do. And I'm going to do a bit more colouring on this um, Zen Masters colouring book of Vogue 50s adult covering book i'm working on this uh, lovely lady here so i am going to finish her top if i can and maybe maybe start the car i haven't decided i might do it pale blue or baby pink i haven't decided yet maybe baby pink or hot pink or that sort of bright pink that they used to have things in the 50s but that's it for today so not really a lot happened um, I do need to take these videos off so I can get to the photographs, but I'll have a look at that later. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Tuesday is tat sale day. I've got one item to post. I must pull that out before I go because it's over the other side of the room and I will forget it if I'm not careful. I've only got the one to post. So, yeah, I've had a very quiet weekend. It's my own fault for not listening to stuff. I get back into it now. And I'll put everything on 1% or 2% promoted. If it's a cheap item, I put it on 1%. If it's uh, over 20 quid, I put it on 2%. Might as well. It's worth a, worth a punt, isn't it? 
we'll see if we get any stuff listed if it all uh, kickstarts some sales anyway a little bit of coloring then i'm off to bed i'll see you in the morning bye good morning everybody um it's tuesday morning uh, everybody's still in bed it's about 10 past six i've just had some breakfast not really feeling it this morning breakfast wise i'm still tired but i slept better last night because jennifer eventually went off really well she was a bit grubbly grubbly grumbly early on in the night when she was sleeping and crying and uh, coughing mostly um, but she's fine she's sleeping all right now and i'll leave her to the last minute before i get her up she's still got this little cold which i'm getting so i had a sale in the night lunch is great um so that's good sales starting again now so i will just keep doing my five a day plan so that's my five listings uh, well it's 11 a day so it's five listings well it's more than that it's a 16 a day five listings six draft and pack five photographs yeah my 16 a day plan um it doesn't take up a lot of time it just means there's something consistently going up on ebay whether it's an auction or a buy it now so yes i did buy it now tonight i'll do auctions um Obviously, when I run out of auctions, it'll just be buy it nows. Um, and when I get up to a certain level, I'll upgrade the shop to the next size. I think it's something like 600 listings. That's when it's worth doing. Um, but yeah, I'm doing okay. I've, I mean, I've made my fees for the month back just about. Um, I like to try and make fees before they go out. It doesn't matter if I don't. It just means that anything after that is profit, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, everybody's asleep. I'm like, so I'm still a bit tired, but I'm okay. I'm gonna sit here and watch Lonnie at Garage Flips and then possibly RVA Flips um, before I get ready to go to work. So, news on the car is he still thinks it's a ga head gasket, but he says it is worth repairing because the car, other than that, is in really good nick. So, because he's the expert, he's a mechanic, I go with what he says. If he says it's fine to do, it's just going to take him a while because the weather's not was not brilliant yesterday. Um, we don't know what it's going to be like today. He wants to start it today, but it's a big job. Um, but He'll he'll just do it and hopefully it'll get done. He just says it's gonna take about a fortnight, which is a long time. And I need my car on the twenty first for my eye test. I need to get to um spec savers. So yeah, I'm gonna just carry on with this and I'll uh, show you the items I'm photographing when I get home. So today is my usual thing. I got go to the post office. I go to my tax sale. I get some sausage and chips and I go to my mum's. Have lunch with my mum. That's all still happening, even though my dad's gonna have to be carrying, driving me around. Um, he said he would um drive me home after sausage and chips and then uh, yeah it'd be nice yum 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 and then i'll come home i'll put jennifer down and get ready to get changed as long as she goes straight to sleep as long as she goes to sleep well i don't really need that because paul's here anyway i will go and do i might get myself a drink and go and photograph my five items again i'm still working through tops i'm going to work through tops so i run out of tops um and then i'll move on to skirts it's not many skirts but i have got some and then dresses, which are my least favourite to do because it's just hassle dressing Maisie in them. But I will have to do them. And I got some nice dresses to go up as well. But I buy more tops, so it makes sense to just get all the tops done first, really, doesn't it? So. And then on the weekend, I'll do some hard goods and try and do my um, some cameras. And I've got some boppets that need testing. So that's that. That's the weekend's job. So other than have my hair cut because it was cancelled last time because of Paul's ankle but that's it for now I've been waffling for nearly four minutes I'm gonna go and watch Lonnie and I'll see you after work hi everyone I'm back from work Jennifer's asleep Paul's having a sleep and I've just photographed my five items so I've had my lunch this feels so much better doing everything in five so today I'll I'll um get what's on the phone or on eBay ready to go live I'll measure another six. So doing it in small chunks like this every day is a lot easier than just like doing it all in one go. So I'll show you what I photographed and then I'll show you what I bought today because I spent £3.50 and got nine items. There's nothing high end. It's all bread and butter stuff, but there's some nice bits. So I've just photographed this next jumper, which is really nice. It's size 18 and that was 50p. I think everything on here was 50p, maybe a pound, but I think 50p. Then there's this sort of 
paisley top from Marks and Spencers. It's uh, again 50p because most of this stuff's all come from the same place now. I haven't got any of the one pound items left. I think if I've got one pound items, they're still from this place, but I know that none of these were a pound. This is a Joe Brown's uh, top with a I think it's a rabbit or a hare, but look at it, it's quite nice. I've photographed that one. I've got this Zara woman, sort of black and white. It's very odd, get it the right way around. Top, so I photographed that. That'll be measured tonight, ready. That's supposed to be a large. Is it a large? I think it was said a large. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's supposed to be a large. It's teeny tiny. But there you go, it's Zara, isn't it? And then a size 16 white caftan from Marks and Spencers. Now, I, I did one of these yesterday, but, um, and I'll be listing that next. Um, it was pink. So that's everything photographed. So I've got a Per Una ladies shirt. It's a size 14. It's multicolored. It's blue. It's got flowers on it. You're not going to see it very well here because it's very hard to hold the phone and show you items as well. But that's that. And then this is Zara as well, I think. Yeah, this is Zara. Woman, what did it say? Basic collection. And that's a, either a very, very short mini dress. Or a very long tunic. I need to measure it and find out. It looks like it might be a dress. But that was 33p. Because this, this this stuff that I'm showing you is on the three for a pound rail. Now this is just a new look jumper. It's a nice one. I like new look. I must admit I do like new look. I know it doesn't sell brilliantly on... Oh no it's not. It's actually two. Which is even better. I thought it was new look. I hmm, wonder why I thought that. This is just a Chew jumper, which Chew is Sainsbury's, but that's quite nice. If I can get a fiver for it, I'm happy because it was only 33p. And I've got this blue jumper, which is by Believers in Aphorism. Beautiful clothes and bare feet, wool blend, 12. What size 12? I think, well, it's medium, 12, 38, so... 38 or 12? I'm not sure. But it has got some sort of, I think it's got Angora in it. It's a bit bobbly. But I'll probably only got for 8 quid. It has got the the label in it. And I did look at it to see what it was in because it said it was wool blend. Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. 30% merino wool. Nice. Um, that was on the 33p rail. Um, and this t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, was on the, the 33p rail as well. This is just uh, probably Disney at George. And it's Bambi. So, I don't know what size it is. It might be a night shirt, actually. I'll have a quick look, see if I've got any in a label. It annoys me when people cut these inside labels out. 100% um, cotton. Size 18. I'd say it's a t-shirt, then. Nice, I might try that one on, but uh, yeah, I'll sell it because Bambi is really nice. And then the other items I got were all 50 pence. So this one they've taken the label out of, but I did look at the, they left the garment label and took the brand label out. And it's just like a summer top, that's the back of it. But that's um, this floral top and that's by Warehouse. This is a long sleeved jumper by... W, which is BHS, it's Cerise, cream and black, with some buttons on the thing, it's really nice, that was 50 pence. And this last item is a Cotton Traders blouse, a size 12 blouse, beige with a blue floral pattern, and that was 50 pence as well. So that's what I got today. Yeah, so I've done five and I've bought nine more items. I've still got a bit of a pile up there to do. Not a huge amount, that pile's going down, and I've got... Um, two more bags of stuff i need to sort because i've got i know i've got a couple of dresses that need to go in the dress bag and there's two tops there that need ironing or steaming and there's two downstairs as well um one's a man's shirt and one's a abercrombie and Fitch's hoodie which I should get done really even if it only goes for a five i don't care anymore i'd rather get it in cheap sell it cheap obviously at a profit 
and get the money back and make a profit if i get high-end items yes i'm quite happy to hold on to them long tail and get a decent price um but i'm selling m and i'm selling next I saw Bowden, Bowden Top really cheap this morning. It cost me 50p. I sold it for seven quid. I don't care. That's profit for me. That's all profit. Um, so the plan is to get all the tops done and then all the skirts and then all the dresses. Now, obviously, I buy a lot of tops. So I'll do another five tomorrow and then I'll be going to my sale again on Thursday and I might buy a few more. But hopefully by the time Tuesday next week rolls around when I go to it, I may well have finished all my tops and I might even be on my skirts. And then I won't do tops until I've gone through the skirts and dresses and got all them done. Then I will go back to tops. Um, the idea is that eventually I will catch up because at the moment I'm only going to two places and buying stock from two from this one place twice a week because um, I still haven't got my car. So I should be able to catch up. The idea being then, when I go to my sale like I did today, if I come home with nine items, I can do five to, in one day and four the next, and then they're all done before the next sale. Um, and then I say by 10 or 15, I could do five or seven or eight uh, or one day, some on Friday. And if I go sorting on a Friday uh, or, or a Saturday in town, I have got them from Saturday to Tuesday to get it all done rather than have it hanging around. I'd rather have it photographed and drafted in on my eBay so that it's ready to go than sitting in bags waiting to be photographed. So I'm finding doing it in bite-sized chunks of five a day is working at the moment. I mean, it's only day two, but I don't feel like I've done a lot of work. My back's aching because I've been on the go since seven, well, six this morning. But it wasn't too hard for me to just crack on and get that stuff photographed. So um, I've had two sales. I've sold a phase eight dress and the Bowden top. Not huge money on both, but I don't care. It's all profit and that's all that matters to me. I think the dress went for 12 quid. It's a nice dress as well. It cost me two quid, but I'm still in profit. I'm not going to be, I think, it's nice to get high-end stuff and sell it high-end. But if I'm getting stuff for 50 p a pound, if I can flip it at eight, nine pounds, I'm going to do it. I'd rather get the money back in and go for the quick flip, I think. I mean, obviously, if it's something really special, I like the cat of a dress. It's been up for a while now. It hasn't sold this summer. I, I will reduce the price down. And hopefully, it will sell at some point. But I'm not going to sell that for five, ten quid. It is worth about 100, if not more. They're selling for around 160. So, right, but that's it for now. I'm going to go and have a drink because I'm thirsty. I'm going to turn the light off because my big light is there. There we are. And um, there's my stock. There's my stock boxes. <laughs> i got three big ones there, which I'm going to not use for clothing like that. It's just too heavy. And when I go into the shed and get it all put over there, they'll be on shelves. So... It won't fit, but those boxes will be perfect for coats, shoes, bags, and stuff like that. So that's what that's going to be for. So I'll catch up with you later when I'm doing some measuring or something, maybe. I'm only going to be measuring those five items I showed you there. I'm trying to do six a day so I get one extra. And I want to do my Ted Baker silk top. If, of course, I feel up to doing more after that and it's not too late, I might do a couple more. Because it doesn't hurt to get them done, does it? So, yeah, I feel like I'm getting on top of it slowly. It doesn't look like it. It's the right mess up here, but the top pile is coming down, even though I'm buying more. I mean, for instance, I bought a Christmas jumper. It's pink. It's horrible. But it was 50p. If I can get six quid for it, I'm a happy lady. So that's it for tonight. I will see you a bit later on when I, like I said, when I do this measuring stuff. But um, I'm going to have a rest now and a drink. See you soon. So everyone's in bed. I'm just watching a colouring video from the Bibliophile Colourist. Um, he's coloured in Flora by Maria Trolley, which is a lovely book. I haven't got it. I must get it. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to use my cotton wool in the background and Jennifer's bit of sleeping bag. Seven. I need to go upstairs and go in a drawer. Um, I've measured and packed up six items ready for storage. I just need to put them away. I've got a big bag full to go. I'll do that tomorrow. So I've got six that are ready to go live. I, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to get six ready every day 
I'm photographing five because I've got a bag full of photograph stuff that needs to be measured. And I'm, I'm trying to get six measured today. So I'm slowly, I'm basically, everything I'm photographing, I'm getting measured, ready for drafting and listing the same day. And then I'm picking one out of the bag that I've done. If I feel like doing more than one, I will. But today we're all a bit late going to bed. So it's about half past ten. Jennifer's in bed, Paul's in bed. And like I said, I'm watching a video and I'm just chilling for a minute. I've just finished eBay. I have had two sales today, I don't know if I mentioned it, nothing major, yeah I think I did, phase 8 dress and a Bowden top, so I now need to pack them, but uh, as I'm not going to post office until Thursday, I will pack them tomorrow, so hopefully if I remember, I will show you them when I pull them, I'll get the um, numbers later in, in the morning, ready for when Jennifer's having a sleep tomorrow afternoon and I'll get things pulled. Uh, when I go and do my five tired. photographs yeah. for I the day. I'm really pleased with the way I'm doing things. I'm quite, I can manage doing it like this because I'm not buying a huge amount of stock at the moment. But today I got nine items and last week I got ten. So it's like I'm not buying a huge amount of items. So I should be able to catch up and get everything clear. And then I can look at getting a lot more time. Poor old Jennifer's having a good cough up there. So I'm just going to sit and chill for half an hour and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm not even going to colour tonight. I can't be bothered. I might do some tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday, peak of the week. Happy hump day. Can't wait. It's a weekend I love. But I will see you tomorrow. Have a, have a lovely evening and I'll see you soon. Excuse me. Hi guys, it is Wednesday afternoon. It's actually nearly half past one. It's just gone 20 past one. Um, I thought to do the intro this morning. It's just simply because I'm not driving, so... I've got Friday off again, just because my dad's got go to he's got an appointment at the hospital, so we don't know what time he'll be back. So I've booked Friday off, so we'll be home. So we're in work tomorrow. So plan for this afternoon: photo five items, get six ready to draft, put five live. That's my plan for this afternoon. I think my new vlogging camera's arrived. There's a little parcel downstairs with my name on it. I did order the Canon G7X or X7 Mark II. I don't know which way around it goes. It's just loads of letters and numbers. Um, I am not bothering with the Mark III. It hasn't got enough for me to want to pay an extra almost £300 for it. So I think it was 449 And that came with three screen protectors and a 64 gig memory card. So... That's good because I'm going on holiday soon and I want to vlog and show you where I'm going. So we are actually going to Tenerife. Um, we're going to the north to Puerto de la Cruz. I've been there twice before. We're staying at the same hotel because um, I like it. And we'll be taking Jennifer to Laura Park, which is a wildlife park thing, animal place. I've been there before twice. I buy a t-shirt every time I go. We'll be going about three times. I'm not buying three new t-shirts. It will just be the one. <laughs> Because uh, it's so big, she won't be able to take it all in on one go. So I plan on doing some serious vlogging while I'm out there. So I need to make sure, because I won't have a computer, I won't be able to do anything with it. And I'll be taking stills as well. I need to make sure I've got plenty of memory cards. So I've got the 64, 232s that are good, for, that I can use for filming. And I might order another four. I'll have a look. 64 gigs quite good but I need to see how it goes so this week I'm going to be doing my weekly vlog on the phone as I am here but next week I'm going to use the new camera and we'll see how it goes but I'm going to get changed now out of my work clothes and I'm going to go and have some lunch before I do my normal work. Paul's out this afternoon so I'll be opening up that camera on camera later on. Ooh, exciting. See you in a bit. So here's my box. I'm excited. Um, yeah Photographing's gone out the window because Jennifer hasn't gone to sleep today. She's uh, doesn't want to sleep, so she's having a packet of quavers. I'm going to open this up and have a look. So here's the box. Here's a 32 gig card I ordered because I've got three of those now, and this is a I think a 16 gig micro card for the water underwater camera and here it is the power shot g7x mark ii yes jennifer it's not for you compact camera so i'm going to get that out and we'll have a look at it so this is what's in the box we've got a 64 gig card speeds up to 150 megabytes that's cool we've got some glass protectors Instruction manual, 
charger cable, I would imagine, yeah, charger cable. Um, bit of packaging. Here's the charging docking thing. Battery, oh that's tiny, let's we'll see how much it is to buy some more of those. I don't know how much else, uh, strap. And of course, the camera. Can't wait to see this, can we Jen? Look at this. This is going to be lovely. You can go in my handbag. I won't be excuse me. Don't know what happened then. So here it is, looking rather spiffy. It's not focusing this camera phone. I don't know why. The Canon G7X. I like the way the screen moves. You can hold it like that, so it's facing you. And you can see what's going on. So I'm going to uh, explore this, and I'll uh, get back to you later. So it's Wednesday evening. I haven't done much work today. I've done my post. I've got four items going out, which is great. As I said, now, once I've paid my fees, I'm in profit for the month. So anything else is a bonus. I'm happy with that. It gives me some spending money for when I'm on holiday next month. Um, I haven't done much today because Jennifer didn't go off to sleep till gone four. And then she slept. I feel about half past six when I did her some tea. She's in bed now. But by the time she went off, I was so knackered anyway. Um, I've been playing with a new camera. It's really nice. Like I said, I'll vlog on it next week. I might do um, some filming on it over the weekend because I usually do a colour and catch up on uh, a Sunday. So. One of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. That will be filmed on it because obviously I haven't got my other one unless I can get it working. I might do. I just don't want the hassle of carrying a big camera around when we're abroad. I need to prioritise Jennifer's stuff. So, you know, I mean, I might take a. I've got a, a tiny colouring book, the my little nice little town book one. So I might take that and a few coloured pencils with me. Um, I might take the Black Widow set actually. Because they'll go in um, a rucksack with a little notebook, with a little book and that. It won't take up much space and I can sit and do that on on the plane if Paul's got Jennifer or in the evenings when she's asleep. You never know. Something to do. Tired. So I've got Friday off because my dad's got a doctor's appointment, well, hospital appointment and he might be there late. So he won't be able to pick me up. So I've got Friday off. So... Uh, that's why I'm not too worried about having not done too, any work much today because I can do it on Friday. Um, so so my plan is to um, yes. get some photographing done tomorrow, I hope. And like? measuring, I haven't done none of that today. I have put five up live and I've put them on promoted at 1% to try and encourage people to buy stuff. Yeah, I'm watching Amazon oh. Prime's Carnival Row yeah, at the moment with Orlando Bloom. It's I just started, but I don't think it's going to be my sort of thing. The I quite like Orlando Bloom, but I don't know. It's not gelling with me. It might be that I'm just not in the mood for it. Oh, so uniform. it's getting on. So I'm going to go to bed soon anyway. So Thursday tomorrow. Post my four items unless I get another clothing sale, then it's quite easy to get to in the night. That'll be it now. Now, I bought some paper I thought was A4, but it's actually A5. But I can still use that in my printer for printing the labels off and it'll save paper. Um, I didn't couldn't be bothered to put the computer on, so I handwrote them tonight. <laughs> it's doable. So, yeah. Very tired. But um, Mr. I'm just looking forward to my holiday, I've got to be honest. It's going to be nice to be somewhere warm. There will, like I said, I will be vlogging over there. I've got I hope you find what you lost there. 164 gig and I've got three thirty twos, which gives me four memory cards. And I might try and get a couple more. The only reason I'm thinking is if I'm using film and taking photographs, I'm going to be using up a lot of memory. <laughs> so... I won't have any way of transferring it off until I get home, so I'll use them up and see how it goes. But you know, I'll talk about that another time. Anyway, <coughs> anyway, 
And that's it for tonight. Um, yeah, not a very good uh, one, I'm afraid, but uh, hardly done it today, so I'm off to bed. And I'll see you all Thursday. Bye. Good morning. It's Thursday, and as you can tell from my throat, it's not good. I feel okay. I'm very tired, but my throat is so sore. This one, I, get I think every time Jennifer gets sick, I get sick even worse. Poor kid. Um, she's had a cold. And she's had a cough. I've not been too cold. I've not had a cold so much, but oh, my throat is bad. So I'm glad it's the last day of the week because it gives me the weekend to recover. I had a sale come in overnight, which is for a Lord of the Rings jigsaw puzzle I've had up for. Um, I want to say nearly a year, not quite a year, nearly. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know when I bought it anyway. I, um, yeah, it sold for 19 with free shipping because it was one of the times I was experimenting with free shipping. Um, and it was two quid. So even with it free shipping and the cost of, of it, I'll still clear a £10 profit on it. I'm happy. I'm just glad, glad to get the sales in and I'm in profit the month now, so the more sales I get now, the more profit I make, which means the more money I can put back in my savings account. Because obviously, I took a fair whack out to pay for the new new camera. This is done right here. Um, yeah. So yes. Time to get on, I suppose. I'm so tired. I feel really rough. I just thought I'd have a quick drink before I had some food. So now I'm going to go and make a piece of toast because I am hungry. I'm going to make it warm because my throat so sore. I'll see how it goes. I'll catch up with you later and let you know how and what we're going to be doing later on. Hi everybody, I haven't vlogged today. I've got to be honest, with my throat being so sore, I've just not been very well. Um, I haven't been up to it. I did go to the post office and post my full sales. I'm really happy about those. I haven't pulled the other one. I've got tomorrow off, so I might post it tomorrow because it's supposed to be nice. And we plan on going down to the park with Jen. Paul goes back to work on Monday, so. So I'll probably just post that tomorrow, just get it out and get it done. I like to do that when I can. So I'm just sitting here now. Paul's gone to bed, Jennifer's in bed. So I'm just having half an hour, a bit of peace and quiet on my own. Do a little bit of colouring, because I don't get much time to do that. I usually either read this time of night on my own or I colour. But I haven't done anything. I've put five auctions up and that's it. So tomorrow, as well as taking Jennifer out and having lunch out, I'm hoping to do a bit of eBay work. I've had a lazy, well, it's not that I've had a lazy week. I've been to work normally, but my sore throat is killing me. It's really horrible. Excuse me, I'm just flapping my pencil. Um, yes, not good. Been lazy as heck. But I know I can crack on. I might sit here and do a bit of drafting afterwards when I've uh, finished colouring. Or I might do it tomorrow. I have to see how I feel. But yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna sit here and watch What the Hails, and then I'm gonna go to bed in a little bit. So hopefully, this throat will get better over the next couple of days, and I'll be back to filming properly. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Morning, it's Friday, and I'm not in work. It's nice. Paul's just taking Jennifer down the road for a little walk. He's gonna go Greg's and get me some something with bacon and sausage in it. I hope. Either a bap or a baguette. We'll, we'll see when it gets back. Yummy, yummy. We'll all be going out later for a walk and some fish and chips, play in the park, because it's going to be a nice day. Um, I will be doing some eBay work later. I've got my one item to pull, so I will post that today. I might as well, seeing as I've got to go down anyway. So, yeah, I'm just chilling. I've got a cup of tea here, and I'm watching, um, who am I watching today? Franchise Kicks. I'm near the end of that one now, because Lonnie over at Garage Flips hasn't posted a video yet. So, Maybe it's a bit busy. Maybe it's running late. I don't know. Maybe there won't be one today. It's very disappointing. I love Lonnie with my cup of tea in the morning. But hey, he's got to do what he's got to do because that's life. So yeah, not a lot's going to be happening today. It's been a very boring vlog this week, I will admit. There's not been a huge amount of sales, though I am in, in good profit. I'm happy with where I am for the month, for the day of the month. Um, Do some eBay work later. Get some more stuff done. I want to do some hard goods this weekend, which is... um. That DVD game I got, a um, couple of bop hits I've got, and some of the cameras I want to get listed. 
because I'm running out of cameras now. I've, I've sold so many. It's nice. I love selling cameras. Anyway, I'm just going to crack on and uh, drink my tea and I'll see you later. Probably when we go down the shop or when I'm packing up my item. I don't know. Probably when I'm packing my item. I'll see you later. I can see my double chin. Not good. So I'm just getting ready to go out. So I've just pulled this puzzle, which I've sold. Um, it's, as you see, it's sealed. Sold for 20 quid with free shipping. It cost me two. I'll clear £10, so I'm happy with that. I just had an offer in on this uh, Yashka camera body. No lens. It does work. It's been battery tested. I will actually test that there's no battery in there because I've lost some batteries. I don't think there is, though. Um... Somebody offered me £4.50 and I've just taken it because I've got a ton of cameras downstairs to get listed. So I'm happy to take anything on those now. I, they've more than paid for themselves. Um, it was from the auction lot. I'm over £200 in profit just on that auction lot. Um, I think I've got about 12 cameras, maybe 14 cameras listed. Not very many. Two, I've got two Pentaxes left, I think. Yeah, two Pentaxes left and a few other ones. So I'm going to pull some out and just get them listed there are some very vintage ones in that have got i can shut a test but i can't test for film because they don't make the well they do make the film but it's very very expensive so i'm not going to film test them i don't know if you can hear jennifer crying in the background she's downstairs in a cot we've just been um out in the garden washing the paddling pool out because it's supposed to be hot over the next couple of days it needs some air pumping into it and i can't get the pump working i can't get it in the nozzle in the bloody hole so my dad will probably come up later and pump some air into it for me oh i don't know i'm afraid of breaking it so is he but we'll try and see and then if so tomorrow we'll have a day in the paddling pool um i put a load of stock away in the boxes because it's been sitting around in a bag too i mean so i've been sitting in the bag so long i've actually sold stuff from the bag about one item so that's gone in um so yeah uh, i'm gonna pack these two up so this has just literally just been paid for so i'm gonna pack both of these up and take them to the post office when we go down the shops uh down the road in the minute so we're gonna take jennifer down the park and we're gonna go to the fish and chip shop for lunch so there's two more items out of my stock. My wardrobe shelves are nearly empty of hard stock, you know, games and stuff. Um, they, I've got two shelves which I put stock on and one shelf has literally just got a pair of shoes and a carrier bag on it. The carrier bag is just craft stuff I haven't listed. I might do a craft list um, bundle at some point. I just got to sort it out. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. I am now going to drink my tea and get dressed and then take Jennifer out. Yay! And yes, you can see some crunchy rocks chocolate in the background, which I'm going to eat a bit of that now as well. So I'll see you when I'm out. Bye. So we're in the chip shop. Jennifer's having a drink. Paul's having a Coke. And I haven't opened mine yet. I'm going to open it in a minute. And here we are. <coughs> she just dropped her top on the floor as well. We've had lunch and now Jennifer's having a swing, aren't you? Daddy, go and give her a good push from behind. There. It's a gorgeous day. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. Oh, there's a nice laugh. Jennifer's been grumpy all morning. But we're going to um, hopefully go in the paddling pool tomorrow if it's hot. Just needs a bit of air put in it. And obviously, some water. Now it's all cleaned out. Oh, good girl morning it's saturday i haven't done much vlogging i've been a terrible vlogger this week but it's saturday morning paul is just taking jennifer over the road they're going to go in the shop and then they're going to go in the park and i'm going to have my hair cut and it's like been about eight weeks it's been a long time because of paul breaking his ankle so i'm coming in here i will see you in about three or four hours <laughs> back from the hairdressers now um but you wouldn't know because it's tied up because it's too hot. And we're out in the garden and Paul's complaining that the water in the padding pool's too cold. I'm not going because I've got a cough and a cold and I don't <laughs> want to make it anywhere. So I'll show you what they mean. Uh, Hi, Paul. Hello. What's it like? Uh, it's getting better. better. It's making my ankle hurt. It can't be very warm. Here's Jennifer with her lovely new swimming <laughs> costume on. With It's got a unicorn on it and it's all multicoloured. Yeah, Jennifer's not doing any swimming. She's just standing there. You have to sit her down, Paul. Come on. Sit down. That's it. 
Oh, oh, it's cold, isn't it? <laughs> She's not too sure about it, is it? It is a bit chilly, but... <laughs> it is a bit chilly, Mummy admits. But they're a bit, a bit pair of wusses, these two. <laughs> it's Grandad. Mummy's not happy because Jennifer dropped her phone and cracked the screen. She's not happy at all. Are you going to puddle? Are you going to puddle? Grandaddy? Oh! Oh, that's nice! <laughs> Splash! Go on. Oh, it's cold. Got a bit of grass with you. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit warm there. It's cold! It's not as cold as it was. Should have had it out earlier and put the sun on it. Well, I said that, but... I was having my ear cut, so I couldn't do it. I was having my ear cut, I did it. What are you doing? You having fun? Having fun breaking my phone. It's, it's, it's in the it's in the pool, Dad. Oh, yeah. yeah, baby. She likes some, oh, you don't want the ball. <laughs> well, anything now. It's too cold for you, isn't it? Come on. It's not that now. cold. It's better than it was. Yeah, well, I'll put some hot cold. water in it. It's making my ankle hurt. Tell it's too cold, cold for you two. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, Come on, Wuss. Hey, Daddy, sitting down. Come on, Wuss face. Oh, no. Look. Is that on Daddy? Yes, I'm Daddy. Yes, but she on, sits on me if I'm in there. Come on. Oh, we don't like it, do we? This is better now, Jennifer. Yeah. You get used to it. There we go. It's a bit better, isn't it? <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. It's not so bad, is it, darling? It's a bit better now, actually. Put that in, the sun's on it. And, uh, oh! Watch. It's almost waterproof. Is it? Is anyway. Dad nearly broke the pool. Oh, he didn't. It slipped. Yeah, I'll give it to me. It was a slippery. Yeah, it is slippery. It is slippery. It's because of the boards underneath. The boards make it a bit slippery. Well, they nearly fell over, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I can't keep you up, my God. <laughs> you're, you're all wet. You're, you're all wet, wet Come on. Oh dear. Come on. Granddad can't sit down. He didn't bring his swimming costume. Yeah. That's why I was sitting there with her. Well, I ain't sitting down. I'm not standing. Here. Jennifer's only interested in Grandad now he's here. Oh, you don't want to sweat away in the tummy, don't you, Jennifer? Yeah. Is she even wet yet? Well, not particularly. I've got wet knee cap. Well, sit, sit in it. Oh. Properly. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> no. Not happy, is she? Whoops. Uh. Ooh, I'll be back. No, no more. Ooh. Give Grandad a break. <laughs> Whoa, I know you can't be big. Careful. Drunk again, Jennifer. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's not because you took her away from her granddaddy. I, no, she was slipping over. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. careful yeah. with her. Yeah. Oh, I'm my name, Jennifer. I'll get you out. All right. Didn't like that. It was a bit cold, wasn't it? It's not cold, is it? Now it's warm. Mm. Come on. It's Come warm on. now, isn't it? <laughs> Jen Jen Watch this one Ready One Two Three <laughs> <laughs> Mike oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's Jennifer Dada. One no. Two Three Yes, <laughs> state are you <laughs> <laughs> you were only supposed to come up and watch and have a beer. <laughs> that. that, I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice. Have you got Granddad all wet? Like Granddad wet himself. Mummy will have to finish the vlog tomorrow with a new camera now. You can behave and not break that one. Oh. Ah. What's that? What's that? What's that? So granddad, all wet. Oh. One, two, three. Can I get back in? Should I get back in? Oh, the ball, the ball. Give me the ball. Yeah, I'll let you go. If you want to walk, you can walk down a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh, he can't do it, can he? So well, he got one hand. I think the water's a bit deep now. Oh, sorry, because you're splashing it everywhere. <laughs> Poor little girl. She does not look happy. Yeah, all wet too. Mm, Mummy's the only one that's dry. No, you don't. My phone's already knackered. But at least it still works as a phone. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Here you go again. You got it. Wasp you look like Ah! Ah! Fun in the pool, innit, Jen Jen? I don't know if there's any footage that's going to be any good because of the cracked screen. I don't know where it's damaged the camera on the other side as well. Mm. Can't really tell out here because it's bright. No, it's screen. It's <laughs> it looks fuzzy, that's all. They might, like I said, it might be just because of the screen. Hi, um, I didn't film a wrap up to the vlog yesterday. <sighs> Jennifer slept, it's Sunday morning now. Jennifer slept all, well, from about three o'clock until six o'clock this morning. She was really worn out and uh, she woke up for a couple hours in the night, but she just dozed. I'm actually filming this on the new camera, but um, because obviously I can't phone film like this way because the phone's broken because somebody did it. It's very difficult to hold far enough away for me to just be in the shot. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is zoomed out all the way. It's a good lens. Yeah. Um, so this is the first bit that you'll see on the new camera. I will be filming a colouring chat on it, which you will have probably seen by the time you see this. No, you might not, because I'm going to put this up tonight. You'll be seeing that tomorrow. Probably. I've got to get light bulbs, because three of my light bulb, well, two of my light bulbs have gone in the dining room where I film, and one in the living room, and we're out, so I'll get some bulbs later. And... Yeah, that's about it, really. I'm going to wrap this up for the day. I'm not going to be doing much today. I'm, I'm too tired, because I, like I said, I was up for a couple of hours with Jennifer in the night. Um, but she was alright. She's a good girl. And then we're going to uh, start again tomorrow and that'll be the first week of vlogging filmed on the new camera. So we'll see how that goes. I will see you all tomorrow. Now apparently this is touch screen but I have no idea how to do any of it so I'm using the button at the back if I can find it. Which I can't. There it is. I'll get used to it. 
and I'll figure out the touchscreen thing at some point. I'll see you later. Bye.